Political socialization is the process by which we acquire our political viewpoints, our political attitudes. Agents of socialization include the family, and that's the most important agent of socialization. There are two principles that make the family the most important agent of socialization. The primacy principle suggests that what we learn first, we learn best. The structuring principle suggests that what we learn first structures later learning, how we look at what we learn later after we leave our families. So when we think about the family setting, we think about parents sitting around kitchen tables, perhaps talking about a presidential election. And children hear presidential candidates commented on. In my class, one of the fun moments is when I ask my students, well, what's your first political memory? And typically, they'll talk about hearing their parents talk about certain presidential candidates in, using certain terms. So when we think about that, there can be explicit political messages. But more importantly are the the moral values, the ethical values. Perhaps those are going to influence how we think politically. Also, in our families, we inherit certain things from our parents or those who are raising us. But from our parents, we inherit ethnicity and race and gender. And all of those affect how we experience the world, and that can affect how we think politically. Socioeconomic status is certainly important in terms of how we view government. So when we think about families, we learn in our families extremely important things which then affect how we think about what the role of government is and how the government should treat people. And then we think about that later on when we enter school and other settings.